Day two in the Murchison as we continue the festival of ancient lands under brilliant skies. A very big breakfast cooked by one of the volunteers, Bill, who also happens to be the Murchison CEO. Pretty good burger, thank well, you. Thank you very much for the compliment. Uh, I like to think it does, does pretty well. Excellent. How long have you been cooking for? Uh, this morning, probably about an hour and a half. Yeah, it's been really good. Really good response. And more today, fueled by your great brekkie. Oh, I don't know about my great brekkie, it's all the other people behind the scenes. <laughs> And they are a great team, 113 of the Murchison locals. Right, let's check out this place they call home from a different angle. Clear skies, cool temps make this time of year perfect for a chopper ride. Look at this era bitty bluff. The rocks that thrust out of the red dirt are magnificent and they play a big part in the culture of the Wadjuri people, the original inhabitants of this region. Time for a wongi. Wongi is, uh, I guess, a bush yarn. Yeah. We like to meet different people from all around the place and share yarn, you know? I'm interested in a rumour I've heard about Iribidi Bluff. The legend has it that the Iribidi Bluff has a big hairy man, like um, Bigfoot. Yeah. Um, and the little wood ages look after him, and we was always told not to go too far, otherwise you might not come back. That's where we went last night, stargazing. Oh, yeah, well, you're lucky we're, you're not talking from a cave right now. That's <laughs> great. So tell us about stargazing for your mob. It's very significant to our culture. And right now, we're watching the stars because we're watching the emu develop in the sky. We can tell if, if it's laying eggs or if they're still mating or, and when to go out and hunt. There are so many different stories and insights into the stars at this festival. As well as local knowledge, astronomers from around the country have gathered for the festival to share their insights from stargazing to the more technical aspects of their work. They have set the bar high in their first year, ancient lands under brilliant skies. It is going to be a star of the Murchison for many years to come.